morning, Wendy. Good morning, Caroline. I so love that music you chose. It, it, Isn't it fun? Everybody needs a little ukulele in their life. And I love the uh, the, the retro anime, you know? Oh, the yes. Well, see, when I was a kid, we had an Atari, which which came out, of course, before the, the, the Nintendo did. And yeah. then... And, and the Nintendo came out, and my parents said, no, 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 no. My mom's like, we're waiting for a computer. We're waiting for computers, home computers. So instead of getting, ah, so instead of getting the, um, what do you call it? The Nintendo. Uh -huh. I had to sit around and wait while everybody else had Nintendos until Apple computers came out. And Apple computers were fun, and I enjoyed them. But never having a Nintendo really put a little kink in my life about understanding and, and knowing some of these games and everything. And I never saw the end of the Mario games and all that. And it just reminded me. It just looks to me like if I made it to the end of the Mario game, all the pretty things I'd see. <laughs> oh, do you see the commercial for the uh, movie, though, for Mario? I know there's a Mario movie out. I, I'm not, I haven't done a lot. Hey, Kraken. Your ears must be burning, Kraken. We are just <laughs> thinking of you. We were just talking about you. Oh. Thank you. Thank um, you, you know, so much. You, you got to watch the trailer for um, Super Mario because the, the fun part about the trailer is the little toadstool, the mushroom guy. He's yeah. sitting in a field of mushrooms, and all of a sudden, this mushroom pops out. What you doing? Oh, <laughs> that looks awesome. Oh, cute, Wendy. Sweet. I'm doing this. Okay, I'm not listening while I uh, multitask. I will be doing the multitasking. I am continuing once again today on my invoicing. It shall be done. Yep. It's going to be done before Monday. I have three more packages to go. That's what we're doing too. Uh, Wendy's going to be packing orders. I'll sell, and I I'm working on my invoices too. My internet was going in and out because it was so funny though yesterday. All those storms. So please don't be mad at me if you get didn't get your invoice yet. That's what Wendy and I are doing this morning. And then I'll post a couple things on Macari if I get the time. And of course. If anybody's looking for anything special, you never know what we've got. Just give us an ask. Yes, because we have some stuff. So we have a ticker on the bottom of the screen. Here are just a little taste of what Wendy and I have for sale today. If you guys are interested in anything too. So I hope you guys are doing a wonderful day and we're doing something fun for the holiday. I was going through some of my stuff, and I found some fun stuff. Isn't that fun? Ooh, that is fun. Kind of like, uh, it reminds me of a Game of Thrones kind of necklace. Yeah. There has been a lot of storms. Between the storms, the fires, and the way everything is interconnected these days, you never know what's going to be taking out what. I know. Okay. Because I think cracking over by you, you got the storm, and then we're catching the tail end of it. So it's been really weird. And we had... What? Okay. I thought... The way it looked... I love watching the radar on... I use weather bug. But I love to watch the radar and how the clouds come in. And I couldn't tell if the reason we got rain this last time in our nice storm, which was just absolutely lovely, um, was from the tail end of that Hillary hurricane we got or if something else was blowing in um, off the ocean. Oh, Here pretty soon, yeah. Yeah, here pretty soon the winds will change and everything will be coming down from Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Okay, you have a really good day at work. Mwah. Hey, double time. Woo, woo. Right? <laughs> hey, it's our double time day. Oh, I'll have to have my son walk to the store for some, some groceries later. He's 16. He should be getting out and going to the store and walking and doing these chores. Had him mow the lawn the other day. Really? Yep. Well, I didn't have my son the entire time he's been growing up. So over the last few years, um, it's been a little bit of a learning curve having him living here with me. And oh. putting him on chores is not something I I did. I mean, we had most of the stuff handled here. Um, the older he gets, the more he eats, the more dishes he's creating. So he does mm -hmm. have dish duty now on, on a few nights of the week. And then... Um, uh, I'm having to mow the lawn more and more. Had him do that this summer. My biggest thing right now is as soon as school starts, I just want to make sure he gets passing grades because that hasn't always been the scenario in hey. the past. Hey, w Wendy, do you have a mm -hmm. phone handy? Yeah. Try going onto YouTube and seeing if you can Smurf crack it. Oh. Okay, I'm already on YouTube. Yeah, let's try that. Right we talked about how to do this. Okay, so I couldn't do it. So let me hear. Let me go on my phone too. I have to go on a past video to do it. Hold on a second. No, no, you can do it on today's video. I hadn't figured out how she didn't. It didn't. It didn't let me. Like, huh? where did we figure the button had to be poked? <clears throat> Go to today's video, that one we're doing right now. I'm on it. And click on the left side of her icon. Oh, I know what the problem is. Hold on. Ooh, no. Well, it doesn't count on here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold on a second. I have to get it to where my phone is seeing all messages. And at this yes. moment, it's not. And I can't. Uh, click on the it. little hamburger menu next to the X. Or uh, yeah, I don't. Oh, wait. I don't. It's not popping up for me this time. Good Lord. What is going Here? on? Yeah. See that? You see that? I don't have that. I just have the, I have the, the settings tool. There we go. Uh, Chat filter. Okay. I found it. It was in there. I got it. There we go. Did you smurf her? Yeah. Moderator, right? Yep. Okay. Crack it. Now. If you can help us, can you just type in something so we can make sure you're blue? Because I know if I type in something, it'll be blue. Hi. Yeah, I'm blue. She should be blue now. I definitely hit the moderator thing. I put it as a managing moderator. Mm -hmm. Is that the right one? Yeah. I don't know. I picked the first button. Yes, ma'am. She's she's doing other things. When she gets a minute, she'll type. I know yeah. she's, she's <laughs> in the middle of probably typing in a an invoice at the moment. And boy... That's one of the most, for me, I'm a very, when I'm, when I'm in a section and doing something, I have to finish what I'm doing in that section or else I'll get forgetful, confused, and lost. Hello, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Oh. oh, Danielle's blue. Oh, that means the other day when you smurfed her, she, you needed her blue. Right. It took us a long time to figure out how to get there. That's why it took me a few minutes to figure out how to get to Kraken's today. Yay. So we're working on it. We are we are doing our best to, to get everybody where they need to be in and and the colors they need to be. Okay. I found right, this. 
I found this beautiful old ledger that I want to use to keep as a notebook because it's got the alphabetical divisions in it. I just got to find the paper that fits in. You are blue, Danielle. Yeah, it's also Wendy's, what is it? Anniversary? Oh, and according to my YouTube studio, it is the my channel's anniversary. So Yay. I guess I've been working on this for about a year now, even with my uh, little hot atis I took there for a few. I'm trying not to high atis this season. So maybe yeah. we'll do something special on Thursday live. Yeah. Well, you guys know if you get hint, hint, if you get something from us, we always put extra, extra. <laughs> In your boxes. I, try put, I try and put extra extra in boxes, but I always want to make sure that I don't extra extra so much that your weight goes over. Yeah, so. see, extra extra will be in your boxes. <laughs> Strawberry flavored. But see, I don't have any of those, but but you have oodles of stuff, Wendy. True, and for me. You might find a bag of tea or two in your. Oh, yes. Wendy always has good tea. I love that. So, so <laughs> I dug something out of the garage yesterday in the process of cleaning. And this is what I mean when I say that I have tea. Whoa. A good black tea one that you like. This is my tub of tea. You would not believe how beautifully yummy it smells in here. <laughs> I bet. So yeah, I just keep. I've got extra tea. But I just keep adding teas, and I have, I have all sorts of stuff. And some of these I don't send because they're not wrapped in their own package. I only send tea. Like I showed you that was in bags of that, you know, yeah, individually wrapped packages. Some of these teas I have in here. I got to open this one up. It's got a goody goody toy in it for me. Not a toy. It has the Wade Whimsy inside of it. What? They make those still? Heck yeah. Seal? American Heritage figurine inside. And they're always Wade Whimsies. Wendy. Oh man, you opened it. I would have sold it. <laughs> Heck no, I buy these from the store this way. Every time I buy them at the store, they always have that in there. Really? If people Where? are interested and they want me to start buying boxes of red rose tea to sell, it is a very good tea. It's my favorite iced tea. I make I didn't it. Know um, you could still buy those. Yeah. Buy them at the grocery store all the time. Maybe it's just a West Coast thing. I might have to just start, you know, being I've a. Never, I've never seen one before. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's a Wade Whimsy, and this time it's the Arrowhead. Oh, how cool! And then these are your bags of red rose tea. It's a it's a black tea. Ooh. They're really yummy, and like I said, they make a very, very good uh, iced tea. They are my favorite iced tea. So I'll take like, I have old glass gallon jars that Manny's used to come in. Yeah. And I would fill one of those up with water, and I'd put in four bags of red rose tea, and then I would just let it sit outside, let the sun do its work. And then bring it in, and I would have iced tea. Wendy. Or the other thing you can do is you can take a small pot. You can put uh, some water in it. You get the water boiling. As soon as the water's boiling, you throw in your four bags of tea. You turn the water off. You let it cool. And then you mix it down into your large gallon jug, and you still have iced tea. Wendy, you should try drinking that with... 
uh, condensed milk and black tea. I have not tried that. Oh my God. I it's, have it's never it's, tried. So you guys know boba tea? That's what it is. Black tea uh -huh. and condensed milk. So to my knowledge, Danielle, they have never stopped putting Wade Whimsies in the Red Rose teas. I had never, ever, ever not seen them there. And I have bought them all of my life. This is what I started out with. This is what, this is what my grandfather taught me to drink. Well, my grandfather. When you're a baby, you're not supposed to have hot and cold stuff until you're older. At six weeks old, my grandfather was feeding me hot tea and ice cream. He'd take a tiny little bite of ice cream. He'd fill the spoon up with hot tea. And I would be having hot tea and ice cream. Hot tea for our children oh, we're supposed I'm to be eating. Go, I'm going to look for one. In the, I've never seen one before in a box of tea. Yep. Red Rose. Um, I think you have to buy the 100 to get the, the 100 uh, pack box. But it will say right there on the box that it has a figurine inside of it. How fun. So yeah, it'll say right there that it has a figurine inside. If I can't find it, you might have to buy me a box. <laughs> if that's the case, if people want Red Rose tea boxes of Red Rose, 100 boxes to get a Wade Whimsy and to have some tea, uh, you put your orders in, I will buy them for you because I can get them everywhere here. Albertsons, Safeway, Winco, Costco. Well, I don't go to Costco, so y'all have to figure Costco out on yourself. Walmart, Fred Meyers, Dollar General. You can get them everywhere here. They're just. Uh, I drink. I try. I'm trying to drink more tea, and I go mm -hmm. through tea like crazy because I'm trying to wean off of soda, and it's so hard. <laughs> oh, getting off of soda is really difficult. It really is. And you can't just keep drink coffee and milk and water all day long. Right. Okay, Wendy, I got a pull up the logistics. Oh, yeah. We can I'm have some logistics. All right. We can be logistical. Right. <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you guys all for being here. We really appreciate you. My name is Caroline, so aka Yen Star Girl, and I'm here with Wendy's Wacky Warehouse. All right. <clears throat> so this is going to be a combination of things. Wendy and I, I think, are going to do a working day during the week to just motivate us. So we're going to be doing invoices and um, listing stuff. And we're also going to be selling on top of that. So it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but here are just some logistics if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from us. Thank you and welcome for all being here. We really appreciate it. So I ship from Texas. And Wendy, you ship from? Oregon. Okay. And then we ship within the U.S. and Canada. We use Pirate Ship. Try to get you guys the best shipping as possible. If you do gift an item to someone, please remember that you do have to pay for the shipping. Jot form is pinned to the top. If you are not in blue, remember we're on Wendy's channel. So if you're not in blue and you haven't filled out the information, let me know. Or even if you're not blue, let me know. Because um, we can get you smurfed because now Wendy knows how to do that. Yay! Job form just ask for simple information. Just ask for your uh, YouTube name, your name, your address, where we should ship the item. And in that little uh, description area of the job form, you could also put in what you would like us to bring to a future sale or what you're looking for or what you're interested in. That's oh, yeah. fine too. Okay. Items are sold as is. We'll disclose any issues that we may have. And then we use PayPal for invoicing. You don't have to have PayPal. You could have uh, PayPal as a guest to pay so if you guys have any questions please let us know and down below is a ticker of, of a selection of a few items that we have for sale and what are you guys doing this weekend okay whoops i put wendy that way i'm here i just wandered for a moment you're fine Okay, so I have, when I sell items, I usually put a letter in the chat. So if I put up a banner, all you have to do is put that letter in the chat. And I'll make sure to do a recap. But today is a very easygoing sale. Hello, yippee. Good. Oh, is it afternoon already? Good afternoon. 
Hello, hello, my dear. Hello. Okay, so I had found something and I wanted to show it off. Okay. I can't figure out where I put it now because I did so much rearranging. I've rearranged myself right out of my brain. Okay, tell me when you're finding it. because uh, I'm, I'm not going to find it, but I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Okay. So we were talking about Wade Whimsies. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. It's in right in front of my face. I found at Goodwill a Wade Whimsy that I I had no idea he made larger pieces. So the bottom of this says Irish porcelain made in England, Wade Company. It's a cauldron and it has shamrock on it. Okay, well, I got to see this closer up. That's beautiful, Wendy. So this has a little metal handle. Why are you going to show that? That's just a, that's such a tease because now we're going to want to buy it. Things to watch for in the wild. Things I never knew Wade made anything larger. Oh, yeah, he has. And for anybody out there who didn't know, this is his, his kind of signature for his other stuff. And it says very bottom, it says Wade Company. Oh, um, man. So, and he's small. He is smaller, but he's definitely bigger than a whimsy. That is cool. So he's definitely bigger than one of his little figurines. But, um, so be on the lookout for other Wade items. This has wonderful weight. It's made, it has that same type of glaze on it. Oh, oh yeah. Well, uh, Wendy, can you um, also smurf Yippee? Oh, yes. Oh, yay. Yes, Kraken, you are smurfed. Yay. Yay. Yeah. It's working. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are interested, dang it, now, I, now that's all I'm going to think about, that cauldron. <laughs> If you guys are interested, I have some hair scrunchies. This one's a uh, orange one. Fun for Halloween. It's only what did I say? Three dollars each. So there's a orange one. There is a silk one, and then there's a black one. This one's kind of like a shimmery black. It's lightweight. And so she's gonna be getting more fabrics to make these out of as well soon. Yes. As soon as I mail her package to her. <laughs> orange, orange tinsel to yippee yes ma'am and she's blue yay it works yay yippee you're blue congrats i kind of wish i had a little like a little bell or ta-da <laughs> <laughs> oh i have that i have that <laughs> where do you find these noises to put no on no this was actually oh. a gift from, uh, okay, oh so Maria, California Stripper, was selling this. She had this because it was so cute, right? Well, she yeah. put it down one day and it started making noise. And then she was selling it at a sale and Bonnie bought it for me and gifted it to me. So now uh -huh. I have this all the time. <laughs> That's awesome. It looks like Danielle's going to take the other two scrunchies from you. Alrighty. Okay. I do have more. Do you guys want to see more scrunchies? Okay. Let me put this in your piece. And Danielle's. Oh. And Yippie, I got new item. New item goes into your... <laughs> Everyone gets one. So, Let's see. every day when I, when I get ready to, to do this, I have to reset the entire house the way I have it set up because nothing's standardized in my house. Like go here to do this and you get up and you go there to do that. So I'm I'm resetting where everything is at uh -huh. or supposed to be or going to be and I feel like I'm getting lost in the closet. That's just me. If I don't feel like I'm getting lost, then something's wrong with my day. Okay, hang on. I just got to write this down. 
Go for it. Are you guys having a good holiday this weekend? Or this week? Yeah, today? Yeah. Okay. Here's the other... Oh, there's only two left? Oh, darn. Yeah. Okay. Here's some, here's some other scrunchie. And Wendy's going to hook me up with some more fabric so I can do more. This one is a purple glittery one. And then this one's yeah. a Halloween one. If this I had one. hair, I'd be getting those from you, but I have no scrunchie hair. So, something fun for people to do if you don't have long hair and you do have long curtains that you would like to pull back and you need Halloween pullbacks, scrunchies make excellent tiebacks for your curtains or you can tie them up and, you know, do the flip back and then put it up there and you can get a nice little hoof going with your curtain and you have something pretty to tie it up with. So, great yeah, curtains. That's, that's what... um. I made some ornaments, Wendy. I don't know if you ever saw them, but there were bobbins. And Danielle uses them to tie our kids' curtains back. Oh, that's excellent. Exactly. If, any, if anyone's interested in this, this one's like a purple shimmery one. And then this one is a Halloween one. Which one would you like, Danielle? The purple or the Halloween one? Both. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So here's scrunchies. I will bring okay. more. Um, what new colors do I have? Are we talking about colors for hair scrunchies? Yeah, I was trying to think of what other colors I could make. Would you like me to show the fabric I've packed in your bag? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you already have it packed. You need to be packing your orders, man. I am. I've just set Christie's out. And I got to double check some cards for her. Oh, I saw some great ideas for um, holiday vintage cards that I was going to try to make. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you guys want to see next? I have jewelry. I have some old jewelry. I have some, well, yeah, it is kind of old. And then I have some d d decor. I have some Christmas stuff. I have this. This random mermaid side. Trust me, I'm a mermaid. Hmm. Oh, and I do have wood signs too. Like wood blank signs. Hmm. If anyone oops, if anyone's interested in this. Trust me, I'm a mermaid. It has like two ties on the top with beads. So you can hang it anywhere. And it's lightweight. It's not too heavy. This is just $3. And it's about six and a four, six and a quarter by six and a quarter big. Oops. Ah, so six and a quarter inches that way and six and a quarter inch that way. I may be making some more signs. I actually have a dog bone sign that I may make, but I don't know what to make with it. It's just a wood sign that's a blank. So are you using your cricket to cut the words out? Oh, no. I don't have enough money to buy a cricket. Oh, I'm <laughs> I sorry. Would I would love to buy I one. I thought you were cutting the words out to put on the sign. No. Some of those are already, it's already made, like stickers. Got it. But I have like, um, 
Here, let me show you guys. Uh, I was wondering if we could request phrases. No, but that's what I would love to do. If I could make enough money and buy a Cricut machine, oh my gosh, there would be so much stuff I'd print. Because I have a bunch of these. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a bunch of these wood forms. Mm-hmm. That I was going to make signs with them. So if I had a Cricut machine, I would print out signs. Because look, at, I have a dog bone one. <laughs> Or I could hand paint the sign, you know, the wording on the sign, too. I could probably stencil it. So I think I have stencils I could do. Yeah. So I have a bunch of these wood signs. So if you guys ever want a sign, or if you just want to buy the blanks, let me know. Sorry, I'm making so much noise. I'm just finally figuring out where to put this stuff so I can move around. I'm trying to find a box. Need a All right, I have some. Well, I should drop the price for that. I have some handmade rings. If you guys are interested, and if you see anything in the ticker down below, let us know. Or if you're just looking for anything, let me know. Here are some rings that I made. So this one is a galaxy one that's made with the, like a vintage earring. This one's a seashell one. That is. I will be right back. I gotta go find some boxes. Okay. That's acrylic. And then this one is a little mummy froggy that I made out of resin. And they're adjustable. They have an opening in the bottom. So I can adjust it to your size, whatever you would like. So I have those. What else do I have? Do I have another ring? Oh, I had a whole bunch of other rings. Darn. I didn't bring it over here. Okay. So there are some rings. Oh, I found this vintage necklace. It's new old stock. Oh. What did I do with it? Oh, no. This is, I don't know what kind of material it's made out of, but it's old. I've never wore it, but it was in my stuff. I was, I must have, I think I was going to take it apart, but I never did. So this one is a starting bit of $8, and the beads are really old, but it's in excellent condition. I never wore it. I just don't know what kind of beads they are, because they look like they're dyed. Yeah. What you got? What you got? Ooh. I don't know what these are, Wendy. It's like dyed beads, but they're kind they're a little heavy, not really, but they're old. Let me see that um the, the blue down at the bottom where you had it. It was coming close to it looks like one of your blue beads has multi tones in it. Yeah, it because it's dyed. See? You think? Yeah, I don't, you don't think so? Oh, and it's, the color's flaking off? Is that what it is? No, it's not flaking off. The color, it's, however they dyed it, that's how it came. And marbled it, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of beads these are. Can you see, can you see a mark where they were, like, pressed, or like, you know, on a pony bead, the plastic pony bead? So no, they're not, they're not plastic. There you go. So they're either a, you think they're a stone or a, or, cause I know there are some stones that they do die. Okay. See, I wonder if it is, cause if you guys can hear it. Almost sounds plastic, not quite. No, it's not plastic. Cause it's cold to the touch. Oh, then it's not. So plastic. it's a stone of some sort. Yeah. I just don't know what kind of stone they are. But anyway, let me measure it real quick. It is beautiful. It's, it's an infinity beautiful. necklace. You can wear it two different ways. Wow, this is long. 26, 20, wait, 23. <laughs> I can't do my house six. Four, 46 inches long. 
So you can wear it like, uh, where's my, where's my mannequin head? You can wear it two different ways. You can wear it like that because it's an infinity. Mm -hmm. You could double it or you could, I needed my mannequin head to show it because I don't think, I don't think I'm describing it correctly. You could either double it this way. Right. Or you could wear it this way. Nice. Because you could wear it two different eight ways. Oh, yeah. And I'm not describing it correctly. Man, words are hard this morning. <laughs> they are. They really, really are. They're so hard. I mean, I'm not even sure I'm finding what Chrissy wants. She was looking for some older cards that I had, and I just. Okay. I have that necklace. Yippee, you would like that? Okay, sold the yippee. Yay! Girl, yeah, it's. Post Hard. It's brand new, Yippee. I've never used it, but I've had it for many years. It's just part of my stash. <laughs> when you're a bead collector, you collect beads. Okay. <laughs> so to Yippee. Letter D. I'm I'm looking forward to buying one of those stands that I have. The uh the racks like I just got. Uh -huh. I'm I'm very much looking forward to um Having one for nothing but my beads. I think one of these metal racks that I got, mind you, this metal rack is seven and a quarter inches tall, seven feet, one and a quarter inch tall. It is 36 inches across and it is 18 inches deep. It has five shelves on it. It might hold all of my beads. Oh, wow. I'm really looking forward to having one in the garage for my beads. Because at this point, I've got my beads on a different rack combined with some other things. I've got a stack of newspaper and a whole bunch of very old suitcases. And they've got that musty smell in them. So I'm going to take my newspapers, crumble them up, stick them in the, in the suitcases. And it's supposed to suck away that nasty smell. Those are amazing. These are Vintage Lady stickers. I thought I sold all these, but I guess this is it. Bridget didn't get my the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, found another stash. Yeah, I had another stash of them. So if you guys ever seen my assemblages I've made in the past, I made it with these sticker ladies. And this is only $2 a pack. You get seven stickers in them. And they're so versatile. You can use them on anything. And they're really pretty. I like paper dolls. I was thinking of crafting with paper dolls again because I saw, oh, I saw a really fun idea for my Christmas line. I was going to do an ornament line with uh, the vintage ladies. And I don't know how to do it yet, but I may use these in it, except I don't know if that'll work. But anyways. I'm making a Christmas vintage line of ornaments. So if you guys are interested and you think I should, let me know. <laughs> I think that would be fun. And let me know what colors. Because I was going to, it's going to be somewhat like my jewelry hangers. But it'll have lace and vintage things. I think the Christmas line is going to be more Victorian. All right, and I have more than just one pack. Danielle, how many packs would you like? Because I think I have two or three packs left. What's I'm so glad I the dirty one. at the center of the screen? Is What's it jewelry? Dirty at the center of the screen. Diddy. This Diddy. One? This one? This is another necklace. 
This is an old one. Okay, one please, Daniel. Okay. I am just... Okay, so this is finally getting through the other stuff, right? I have so many old postcards. I did not re oh, realize how many postcards I got and all that stuff. This is... This is the old medallion necklace. Yippee. I made this a long time ago. So, here we go. So... This is like, I don't remember where I got that from, but I put some old vintage, I put some old vintage beads in it. Oops, sorry. And this, the, this part is like, um, it's not, it's gold foil line beads. There's uh, seed beads, but they're bigger ones, like six millimeters. And then there's a chain lobster class right there. With the little, oh sorry, and I have to measure this one. Let me measure it and see how long it is. Do you want me to measure the drop for you? This one I only made one though, so it's actually a 16 inch long necklace. The pendant is about uh, one and a quarter long. Am I showing it too close up? No, you're perfect. It looks beautiful right there, actually. So the starting bid for this is $8. And if you guys want me to show more jewelry today, I can. But I only made this this one. I love the copper and the blue in this because it looks aged and patina, but it's not. And it's super lightweight. Okay, Yippee, you'd like that one too? Alrighty. Oh, I need to get Yippee a bigger bag. That one goes to Yippee. So, letter G goes to Yippee. Thank you, Yippee, my dear. Okay, I finally found a couple of those cards Chrissy was asking about. So, I can finally put those in her box. Oh, the vintage cards? Mm-hmm. I found them, and I finally dug in the right place. And she wanted Christmas ones, so I'm sending her Christmas ones and not like anniversary and Mother's Day and stuff, so. Why? You're selling vintage cards? Well, a few, yeah. I've got some more I, I would, I, I'm thinking about parting with. You guys want to sell some vintage cards Wendy may be selling? <laughs> Let us know if you guys want to see some vintage cards. Because Wendy I've has got a few left. I've got some anniversary ones left and a few birthday ones. But so he always liked to buy his wife things with flowers on them. And most of the stuff sparkles from the 60s and the 70s. Sometimes he wrote a date on the inside, like this card was from 1964. So it's always fun. Uh, do you guys want to see bracelets? Do you guys want to see bracelets or, oh, here. I want to get rid of this. Somebody buy this. Three dollars. Three dollars. Is that a braided? Is, is that, 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 the cording looks braided. No problem. So this is it's this is yellow. Yeah. It's like a I don't know. It's like no. It's not braided. It's like chain. No. 
It's like a metal sleeve that was put over it. Really? The sparkle, and it's a bangle. And then there's two diamonds on either end of the... kind of cool. ...of the um, class. So if anyone wants this yellow bangle, $3. Take it off my hands. <laughs> It's really pretty. I mean, there is a little bit of wear on it, on the, you know, on the silver part, but I only wore it like once or twice, really, on the. Oh, really? Who? <laughs> Tell them to re watch this on the replay. And I was trying to figure out some things. I know the chat doesn't work. Like, if you're watching this in real time, the chat. You see the chat. I, right? I know afterwards you can't see the chat. Yeah. So I'm trying to put it on the screen so you guys can see it in the future if you watch this in the replay. Hello, Marcy. Good morning. Well, if you know who was looking for yellow jewelry, Danielle, let me know. $3. I want to get rid of it. Okay. How are you? Are you staying cool on your side of the, the state? Marcy, Marcy, Marcy. Okay, these need to go in a different container. Okay, what else do I have? The sun's starting to shine through and cause glare. I don't like sunshine, I just don't like glare. Put you over there, you up there, and then you down. You Could anyone be interested in this necklace? I have this one. This one, I'm not sure what the material is. This is like, is it, is it? Mm. Also, if you're looking for more modern, regular Christmas cards, something you can send out this season. I have some blank Christmas cards if anyone's interested. So that's something I'm going to make little kits into as well. Might be sunny. Oh, you have Christmas cards? Yeah, like standard greeting cards, standard Christmas cards to go out for the season. Like here, here's one. And it's totally empty on the inside. It says, um, may the promise that was fulfilled that holy night bring peace and love to you in the new year. And I've got four or five that look like this. And then I've got some others that just say joy or say Jesus or you know, just little things. So I'll start making up. <laughs> oh, Marcy. Marcy, you love Wendy, the paper. Wendy has a ledger, old vintage ledger paper too. Yes. Some of it I was tinting. I've got to remember where I, oh, it's in the bedroom. It's in the bedroom in that closet. It's in my, it's in my bedroom in the closet. How'd you know it was in my closet? Because you used to showcase in that room all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make Marcy blue. Oh, Marcy's not blue. That's thank you, Danielle. Let's make her blue. Let's make Marcy blue. Let's see if Yay. I can figure. There it is. Alrighty. That should fix Marcy. Yeah, I got tons and tons and tons of stuff. Okay. I just went through, I just went through, um, looking for some things and like, see, you know, here we go. Christmas wish. May your days be merry and bright. Just, and these, like I said, are just Christmas cards that haven't been used. Matter of fact, these need to go in there. Uh, oh, no. Those I need to cut the tops off to be used. Anyway, yeah. No. No what? All right. Those I'm going to keep out. Those go there. These ones can go here. Here, sure. Here sounds good. Oh, here's Where? a fun one. What did you find? Oh, here's a diamond one. Make yourself big so we can see the lovely thing. Or I could do that, couldn't I? No, you're fine. <laughs> Anyone want this one? Four dollars. 
This is brand new. Okay. I think it was, it was a set of something. It's like a champagne uh, elastic. If anyone's into covered bridges, I have tons of Oregon covered bridge postcards. Like vintage postcards? Uh, yeah, it's like, here's, here's the pack. And then I also have them separately, and these are postcards of the covered bridges of Oregon. So you open it up, and then you've got a map of where the bridges are located. And then you have a whole bunch of different postcards of the bridges. So that one's Wildcat Bridge. This one's... Kyalupa Bridge. And then the Milo Academy Bridge on the other side. So, yeah. Mm. Yes, Amber is a color. No, it's kind of like, well, yeah, it's kind of amber, kind of fall looking here. Let me show you against white. So, the, show it better, Danielle. Oh, blow yourself up. That does look. That looks. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a really. That's a. That's an amber color. And yeah. and um, I guess what I guess what uh, what we what we think about when it comes to this amber, coppery, goldy type color. It could be even a coppery color. Is to make sure that um. Or is it? It's the it's translucentness. How it's, opaque it is. Um, I can't. Danielle, this today. will match that necklace that you got from Chrissy. You know the one that you got that's like a statement one. It's that kind. It's that kind of color. So it will it will match that necklace that you got from Chrissy. I don't know if you remember. It was like, I forgot how long ago you got that from Chrissy. It's like she's after that one for four. After, after that. I'm horrible today, people. Neds are on strange places in new areas, so we're going to have real fun. I'm just happy I found some of those for Chrissy. I think they're the last ones I have. Uh, so, at least from that grouping. Okay, anyone interested in this roulette butterfly one? I'll sell this one for four. Did I get this from... I can't remember if this is... A, is this Avon? No. I think... No, it's it's not Avon. Where did I get this? Oh, that's awesome. I know it's over 20 years old. That is amazing. Buying spaces. Hi, buying spaces. Oh. Hi, buying spaces. I was just talking to Wendy about you <laughs> the other day. That is amazing. If anyone's interested in this, it's five dollars. It okay now does it now the sparkly part is not diamonds. They're um it's colored like sparkles that's put in. But it's kind of Alice in Wonderland theme. And this necklace is colored sparkles? Yeah, it sparkles a little. Let's see. Gee, I, th I thought it was rhinestones. No, it looks like it's rhinestones, but not. 16 inches long necklace. So when you see my forehead like this, that means that I am looking as closely as I can at my computer, whatever she's showing. <laughs> yes. No, no, it was good. I was telling Wendy how um, I was telling Wendy how you were you were looking for other uh, channels to purchase from and resell and stuff like that. And um, oh. I was just telling her about your channel because I see your channel in my feed all the time. <laughs> I subscribe to you. Okay, I understand the little the the, the shinies now. Oh oh, and per almost perfect. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's freaking amazing. That's pretty. <sighs> So, so yeah, she was. Uh, what kind of things are you looking for buying spaces? Because I have 
I, I want to say practically everything. Gosh, that thing's so beautiful. And, and buying spaces, her channel is really nice because when she purchases something, she does a review and she opens it on camera. That's why I was telling Wendy about you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. unboxing. Yes, that's exactly it. Okay. I've got to get a couple other supplies. I'm full. Have you filled for cooking today? I don't know. Have you filled out the jot form? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to double check if buying space has filled out the jot form. Yeah, I don't know if they have on yours. I'm we're just getting me on this channel up and going again. It's been a little, it's been a hot minute. I do like that phrase, hot minute. Okay, give me one second. Let me just double check. Now. Oh, what is my email doing? Give me one second. This is Wendy's channel, so it's a little different. Yeah. Sit behind. I have Christmas lights. I don't know. I don't. Okay. I am at an impasse. I cannot make a decision about what to do. Because they are the old glass. Oh, I got some of the bubblers in here, but I know you can't mail the bubblers. I have some old glass light, uh, Christmas lights. A little dusty. And I know there are some crafty things to be done with them. And I am just not positive. And I got the smaller ones. What? I would be what I need to do with them. And it looks like I've got some of these bubblers. Now I know it's illegal. You cannot mail these bubblers. So you cannot sell them on eBay because you cannot mail them. Some of the fluids are considered toxic. Yeah, I've changed a lot of these little light bulbs this must have been from way back when the green things just started because that's a really long light bulb okay so uh oh wendy how much do you want for the christmas cards the regular christmas cards that um haven't been used yet unused christmas cards um We'll go. I don't. I don't know how. If I knew how many I had, I would give a price. Is somebody asking? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, blank spaces. How much do you want for a lot of Christmas cards? Okay. So the Christmas cards that I have that are unused. Sorry, I missed that blank spaces. I'm. Please never hesitate to repeat a repeat in case I miss something. So the unused Christmas cards. Let's see. Those are all that. Okay. Let's see what I have. Are yes. there any in here? And I'm pretty sure they have envelopes too, right, Wendy? Uh, I am going to tr do my best to make sure they have envelopes. Some of them didn't come with them, but I've recently procured a large selection of envelopes. So I will make sure that they have envelopes. Oh, okay. yay, Kraken. Uh, Christmas. Those ones can't be used. I'll check that one. Those aren't Christmas. And then if you don't mind buying spaces, if you could please fill out the jet form at the top on Wendy, Wendy's channel. That'll make sure we have all your information and can get the stuff to you. And don't worry. You guys aren't obligated to buy too. just to let yeah. you guys know. We just, that's why if you're not blue, that's why. Okay. 
I'm making sure I got all the Christmas ones out of here so that I can get you the right selection. And hey, who knows? You might buy them all. And that is never a bad thing. That's Christmas. That's Christmas. Ah, uh, Wendy, she prefers the ones that are about Jesus. Oh, hey, that's not a problem. Oh. I just saw something really pretty to craft with. What was that? The head of, it was like a really cute silhouette with birds. And inside the silhouette, they made a song hymn about Jesus. Well, it was really pretty. That's a really neat idea. Yeah, I might craft it because I all I have I have a bunch of these wood uh wood signs now. <laughs> I have a nice selection. Finally. I will deft oh this is this is excellent. You see I'm I'm still pulling them out. This is this is good. This is really good. I have yeah. Let's see. I'm not a big greeting card person for myself. So it's really, really, really makes me happy that I can get some of these uh, Christmas greeting cards off to people who will enjoy them and use them. That's important. Right, let's see here. Those are those, those are those. That's a nice large deck though. Oh sorry, am I pronouncing it wrong? Hi. Treasure hunt, yippee, Kraken's right about a Kraken. I Find space. Oh, you're right. We have a, I have a habit of pluraling things. Okay. No, I, don't, I don't think uh, Wendy has Halloween cards. No, unfortunately. I wish finding Halloween cards around here is like. We have a very large, I, maybe it's just where I live or something, but it seems like everyone around here is very Halloween oriented. Oh, oh good. Just want to make sure they haven't been used. So, okay. I've got some small ones that are going to be in the group. So like this size and they're like animals with Merry Christmas. And then we've got Christmas wishes. They do seem to have a lot of oh, animal oriented. Yeah. Okay, so those all have envelopes. The ones that don't have envelopes, I'll have to set them aside and make an envelope pile. Peace with the animals. All right, so the ones that need envelopes are going to go here so that I can find them an envelope pile. There's another season's greetings with animals. Like I said, making sure they're not used. We got some, some decorated by children. This was decorated by Jonathan, age eight, in Sri Lanka. 
All right, that's going to need an envelope. And that's going to need an envelope. Some of them there will be multiples of, which is always nice. Forces. This one's going to be a real fun one, and I think there's a couple more than just one. This has got glitter, so all the snow is glittered. And uh, may the beauty of Christmas dwell in your heart now and all year long, and it shows the city. So those are nice, and they have... These ones are, I don't know, original art by Abram Hunter. I'd like to list the artist if I can, because they are so talented. There's a small one. It's going to need a small envelope. Okay, and the white envelopes are the ones that go with the children. I can find some more white. Sweet. And we've got a little manger scene, and I think there's two of those. I haven't even started counting, and I'm really not too worried. If you take the whole stack, I would be exceptionally happy. Just like I said, trying to make sure they are not. Oh, there's three of those. One. Sweet. I will have to make sure I find more envelopes. One, two, the third one's going to need an envelope. Due to the fact that I'm technically unsure as to how many cards are actually here, you're probably going to get some extra envelopes too. <laughs> you know, better safe than sorry. Oh, there's one, and it it's in that envelope. All right. What have I got? Missing plain white envelopes in here. Where do they go and no one to go with? No. You have someone you go with. No card. Okay. Shoebox, shoebox. Let's go with shoebox cards. Mm -hmm. I've been needing to have a go through this box anyway. You don't know how much I appreciate this. Ha -ha. One full card. Got it. That's an it's envelope. Scratch paper. <laughs> Wendy, hurry up. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking for the envelopes right now. Do you want me to keep showing while you count? Or I'm just double checking some quick envelopes and Looks like the rest of the envelopes I will have to acquire out of my thing. Hold on just a second. Then we got another little baggie here. And I think it's got its envelopes with it. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know about these. I have some long skinny 
beautiful happy holidays cards, but I think I'm not sure how these go. I think they're the money envelopes. Yeah, they do. And they would look like they'd go in a standard in a standard. So there's that Christmas wish that needs an envelope. Got the kid, more kids who've done the designs. This was by Ricky, age 12, from Myanmar. Yeah, and none of them those have been used. Yeah, isn't today, don't they have off today too, Kraken? I know, I forgot it was a holiday weekend too. There's another one with glitter. You get a couple of these. Just got to find you envelopes and the, so there were one, two, three, six of these that I showed you earlier. And there's two of these. And like I said, I will look for envelopes for those. And then a lot of scenery with best wishes for the holidays. These Santa dropping off gifts under the tree. Are you Season selling? Hmm? Are you selling these as a lot, Wendy, or individually? I'm gonna sell these as a lot. I'm just trying to make sure that these have not been written on. And then I'm gonna get envelopes together for the other fist and. I will sell all of these Christmas cards that I have found for you and shown you and uh, envelope up um, $5 for all of them. How's that sound? How about that buying space? $5 and you can have them all. And if you would like to purchase some, either email Wendy your information or um, fill out the jot form at the top, please. That would be lovely. Sold. All right. Sweet. And <laughs> makes me so happy. Hi, mm. Wendy. So many cards out of my box of cards I have to get rid of. All right. Thank you very much. Hi, Bonnie. All right, so put all these together in there, and then I'll take and I'll find. Thank you. The envelopes for the rest, and these will all go to you with so much happiness. And then when, as soon as I have her form, you can smurf her please. All right. You tell me when and I'll post the buttons and I will find envelopes. Oh yeah, that's right. Wendy has some really cool handmade ceramic buttons. Yeah, I got buttons. Okay. I need to make a notation. You feeling better, Bonnie? How's Tyrone? Today's the fourth. Is it? Huh? Yes. Yes. Is it Monday? Yes. Yes, why? <laughs> I lost track of the day again. Thank you. No problem. Oh, that's so great to hear, Bonnie. Congratulations. Oh, excellent. Oh. Did y'all ever make it to Cracker Barrel? <laughs> I remember you guys were trying to go the longest time. 
Mm, Cracker Barrel sounds good. Okay. All right, I will set all this aside for you. And we will get envelopes. I have more. <laughs> I actually. I actually bought an entire container of nothing but envelopes. I had a feeling I'd need them. <laughs> so we will have envelopes. Let me set this to the side so I can put it in the next set of order. Matter of fact, here's some of them. Envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. Okay, you don't have to look at me. I don't have things set up proper. One of these days I'll have a nice place. I know how you feel, Bonnie. Mm. I oh, I'm always craving Chinese food, but it's Monday. All the Chinese places are closed. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Wendy's, uh, Bonnie's asking, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Um, I'm uh, still working through the shipping. And that's, that's my big thing today, shipping and pay. I'll sell a little bit here and there. Got some Christmas cards sold that I really appreciate. It's, it's, it was such a large chunk. So I have, I have this container that I keep cards in. Most of the ones I'm going to sell. Hey, Chrissy. Oh, uh, uh, this is good to be you, Chrissy. Wendy, uh, Smurf, uh, Smurf Chrissy. It's Smurf buying space, please. Buying space, okay. And I should Smurf Bonnie too, shouldn't I? Uh, yes. Hi, Kathy. I don't think I said hi to Kathy yet. I'm helping Wendy get set up too. It's been a while since my channel's been, you know, <laughs> right? More than a holding place, more than a bookmark. Chrissy, don't you got work today? I have some gold sparkly earrings if anyone's interested. Two dollars. They're brand new. Ooh, they sparkle. Yes, they sparkle. They're the stud kind. I just put it on this card. If anyone's interested. Two dollars. Two dollars. Those are pretty. Go to you, Danielle. Thank you. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to make. Billy, right? Chrissy's other half is Billy? Yes. I'm trying to make his hat look nice before I send it to him. I'm running a lint roller across it. <laughs> it might need a little bit of a wash, but I got anything a lint roller will pick up, I got. 
and the brim is still in really good condition. That's always important with hats. All right. Oh, okay. Danielle, yours is the next box I'm going to be packing. I waited a little bit because it has the big bowl, and I want to make sure that I really get that big bowl packed securely. My biggest fear is things breaking in the mail. She has some good styrofoam, though, for it. Yeah. My life is centered around collecting this stuff. Nice, hard, firm styrofoam to pack stuff in. Oh, that's okay, Kathy. We love it when you're hanging around. Yeah. Okay, I have been a lurker well, uh, enough in my life that I have no problem with other lurkers. I was I was watching Leanne sale last night, and I didn't say anything in the chat because I knew if I say something, I would have bought something. <laughs> so I know that feeling so well. I was watching. Um, I don't know if you guys watched Leanne last night on her kitty sale. That was so fun. They had so many good things, but I just couldn't. I couldn't say anything in the chat because I knew if I said something, I would have bought something. <laughs> But I we 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 welcome people that like to hang out in the background, lurkers or anything too. Okay, I have this beautiful glass pendant. This one's five dollars. It's like it's kind of like dichroic glass because it's fused. Yeah. There's black glass on the back, and then it's silver foil lined. And it has a little swirl of green and blue. So $5 if anyone's interested. And it's the bail is metal. So there's the hole. I wonder if I have one of those. Uh, I do have necklace cords. I wonder if that would fit in a necklace cord. It should. Because I have a metal necklace cord that's magnetic. That I really like. Yeah, I bet. That sounds spiffy. Let me see. I used to... I used to have a jewelry booth, and I have all this extra... Oh, it does fit in there. Ooh. The necklace cord is sold separately, if you guys are interested. So, this is a magnetic class right here. So it just pulls open like that. Oh, that's so lovely. And I like it because the metal that's on here, it's coated. And I'm oh. allergic to a lot of metals. And I can actually mm -hmm. wear this. So oh, that's awesome. It's like that. So you could put any pendant you want on it. And the necklace cord is like a burgundy. And it's super lightweight. So if you want the pendant, it's just $5. And the necklace cord, if you guys are interested, it's only uh, $3. That is a very nice cord for $3. Yeah, I really like these because I'm I'm always, I'm allergic to a lot of different metals. And this one actually doesn't, I'm not allergic to that Whoa. one. Ooh, it looks like that. I have never seen a light bulb shaped like that. Oh, Look, yeah, he does. My Christmas light matches your pendant. That's pretty, Wendy. Is that vintage? It, it has to be. Wendy, you still have Halloween bags? Yes, I still have those Halloween bags. I do, I do, I do. The uh, felt ones. She has a ghost one. She has two ghosts. Two ghosts, a spider, and a bat. Yes. Oh, no problem. We needed to do something today. Yes. It's motivational. It's yes. Really, without motivation, Wendy doesn't get anything done. <laughs> Caroline has managed to find out how to motivate me. Yes. Yes. We're motivating each other. Exactly. Oh, Wendy, when you get a chance, don't forget to smurf her. Oh, yes. 
Thank you, my dear. Not a problem. I had it set up on a separate thing. I'm trying to, I am trying to be organized. I bought myself some new organization things. I you went know, to, you know. to Buy Mart. You guys don't have Buy Marts around there. There's two things I got. First, Wendy hopes to make more out in the world videos. So she got herself an out in the world thing. And ghost and bat, not a problem. The other thing I managed to find is this really strange little phone holder, but it clamps and it will clamp upside down in any direction you need it to. And then it has multiple rotations. It holds this other thing that holds your phone and the whole thing collapses into a very small square. It, it, I haven't found anything it's ha I haven't found anything I enjoy more for holding my phone yet. And I will run out and grab the bat and the ghost. I'll be right back. Let's see what Caroline's got next. What do I have next? I don't know. Oh, I know she Hey, she has a Hello Kitty one too. No, the Hello Kitty's not for sale. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kitty. She said that the Hello Kitty is so big, it's big as her head. It is. I have right. Okay, so I have a project. I'm collecting up pearl beads. No, I don't need more. I have plenty. And I have been collecting the ones that I had in bags. Oh, no, that thing is huge. Into my Hello Kitty. There's her bottom into my hello kitty bag and that thing's heavy this is a really nice strap if you ever find the hello kitty bags they're good but yeah she's full of like some glittery stuff that's gonna make it look like snow and lots of beads to make it look like snow and all the stuff you showed me for sale bye 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make an assemblage and then probably whatever's left over with all of these beads, oh, I probably will be. Wendy, you got to go get the bat and the ghost. Okay. They want to switch the Halloween bag. I'll be right back. I can't part with mine. I have one, but it's a reusable one. <laughs> this one I could part with, though. This one, look at this one cracking. It looks like minty. <laughs> looks like minty. Isn't it? With the pink hair. I don't even think I ever use this one. I know, right? It does. <laughs> oh, why isn't it going over? Right. All right. All right. So, let's see. Danielle wanted a ghost. So here's the ghosts. Oh my god, it's so cute. These are little felt bags. So Danielle's getting a ghost and the bat. Bat. Right now the bat has cookie cutters in it. Copper cookie cutters. So those are available for sale too if somebody's looking to head towards the Christmas idea. There's cookie cutters. Down. Yeah. All right. So here's the bat bag. And then the last two bags I have left will be another ghost who's holding other things don't worry about that oh hey jeff hi jeff and then mr jeff 
Mr. Jeff, just for Mr. Jeff, who likes all the spiders. Do you need a spider for your Halloween bag? <laughs> So, yep, so I have a second uh, ghost and I have a spider. Yes, I've seen people do lots of different things with the copper cookie cutters. Um, uh, you can use them in an, in an assemblage. Like, I think there's a turkey in here. Yep, there's a turkey. So if you wanted to make some sort of assemblage and have a turkey uh, uh, to the outside of whatever you're putting it on. That would be fun. Um, so yeah, I've got lots of different um, of the cookie cutters. And I was going to sell, I think there's eight of them. And I'll sell them all together. The bat bag looks evil. <laughs> and there's always jewelry. Don't forget jewelry. So I have Christmas brooches. And I have earrings, like, for for gifts, so or, or for you. If you're a golfer, these are earrings based around golfing. So you've got the tee, the ball, the, sh the shoe, the shoe. Yeah. Aren't you filling it with candy? It won't look so evil. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, there's just all sorts of different things here for me if you're interested. Still continuing. If anyone's interested in pony beads, Wendy has a huge lot of pony beads. Yes. Anybody looking for pony beads for their kids to play and to use and to decorate? I've got red. I've got a, a bag of red, a bag of black, and then uh, a bag of mixed stuff some white, some blues and yellows. Um, yeah. And the more of those I find, the more I'm passing along. Here's a pumpkin plate. And we've got Santa mugs. There is a matching set. And she has a clear set somewhere. Mm -hmm. You have a clear set too somewhere. Yeah, I've got clear one. Yeah, I've got a set of four clear ones somewhere. Yep, artifacts. Those are still on. Those are on their original tags. the The original uh, the artifacts are still on their original sale. Poopy doopy card. That's what it is. It's a card. There's um some bird salt and pepper shakers. They actually look like winter birds. So they're mainly black and white with a little peachy pink right here on the bottoms. So, oh, Danielle, you like the pumpkin plate. Danielle. Awesome. Um, let me see what I had going on and we'll make some adjustments. Uh, so, I would still hold her box open though until, uh, yeah, yeah. Sunday, Wendy. I, oh yeah. Cause, uh, Wendy and I are, so Wendy and I are selling also on Thursday. We're selling on Thursday, and then Wendy's also going to be a guest on um, early bird sale with us Sunday. So our invoices will be open until Sunday, unless you guys want us to invoice you, which I crack and I will be working on yours today. Okay, the pumpkin plate is two dollars. Is that okay, Danielle? And the ghost and the bat are. Did I start that one? Where did I put 
I think it was towards the beginning. Yeah, they were one of the first things I thought I sold, and I'm trying to figure out. what I was even asking for them. And to tell you the truth, do so copper cutters. At the early bird sale, okay, early bird sale is on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. It is dual streamed on Chrissy's Corners for Collectors and Young Star Girls channel. So we usually have a rotating guest every Sunday if we can. So this week we have Wendy with us. Yesterday we had uh, Gigi for Rufio Soaps. And I'll go two dollars each on the pumpkin bags. So the the if that's okay on the pumpkin bags. On the trick or treat bags. Trick or treat so, bags. Okay. Trick or treat bags. And usually we try to rotate in new guests on Sunday's early bird sale. If you uh, look on my channel, you'll see the the tropical leaves with the birds. Just click on that video and you can click on the notification. And I learned a trick. So when I put on the community post, I, I try to post the actual video link. And all you guys have to do is click on the image. And it'll take you directly to the, uh, the link of the video oh do i have any more halloween items um any more halloween items i have one more thing i know of but i haven't decided if i want to sell him or not yet you probably see him over my shoulder there's a Batman mask on my mannequin, on my dress form. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that last night. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't decided if I want to sell him because we're kind of a variety of superhero. We do DC and we do Marvel. But we just do weird things like that. And the fact that it makes it look like my mannequin has a head. No, I think Wendy, she's looking for more like... um. Uh, oh, relations uh, and stuff. Oh, actually, yeah. Where they, no, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh. Um, where'd I put that? Where'd I put that? Because I'm not going to use them for anything. Come on. Someday everything will be in the place it's supposed to be. She's looking for 80s, 90s. I just had some, I had some confetti that I thought she would enjoy. I don't know why. But I really, have I brought anything else Halloween to any of my sales? I don't think I have. That's why she's called Wendy's Wacky Warehouse. You never know what you're going to find. Uh-huh. Uh, angels, angels, kind of cross-stitch. I need to take a picture, uh, crack it, and show you where I put your pumpkin, that, squeeze, that squeezy thing that I got from you last year. I I don't think I do at this point and if I do have any Halloween stuff it's probably going to be a whole lot newer than the 80s unfortunately I will keep a peek out for them oh salt and pepper shakers Damn. yeah I got, I got some I got yeah. some have a shake it. So I got the, the birds. I just I just kind of showed you there. Um vintage Christmas uh plastic green. Like okay, so like the have, like this? No, no. You're looking for 
this Chrissy, right? But the leaves that are plasticky? This is a stem. I might have something like that. But she wants, the, I think she wants the plastic. You want to bring a show and tell on Sunday. I have a felted stocking for Christmas. And it's got Santa and the mice and a little bag of packages. So I do have a little felted Santa stocking. Plastic candle wreath. Oh. Plastic candle wreath. I know exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> I have one, but I won't part with it. <laughs> I might have. Okay, here's the deal. I might have some or I might have had some. But depending on the quality of the plastic they were, it depends on if I kept them or not. And I'm not planning on keeping any of them for me. If I find, where's my Christmas? There's supposed to be some tubs of Christmas crafting around here somewhere too. And I'm not sure exactly where. <laughs> There's probably more out in the garage, and I am really just starting to pull. Actually, they are in the garage. I vaguely remember seeing them now. I also do toys. I have a lot of child of kids' toys. And some of them I wanted to keep, and some of them I didn't. And yeah. You know, I have strange things that pop up. Like, here you go. I have a Toyota Corolla Chilton's manual. Who knows who needs a Chilton's manual? If you do, it's $5. $5 Chilton manual if anybody needs one. And of course, I always have, I'm going to try and list this somewhere else because I've brought it here multiple times and I guess we don't have any Air Force people. And this is a giant piece of fleece that's the uh, Air Force symbol. So salt and pepper shakers. Okay. I know I have more. Oh, okay. I've got some Christmas ones, if you're interested. Because she's looking for a tinsel. I don't have any. I don't, I don't have any tinsel right off. I thought I had some salt and pepper shakers over here. Some Christmas ones. Salt and pepper shakers. I have clear anchor hawking ones that are just plain. Let's see. They're plain. And then I have a pair that are Europe from Europe. But I can't find it. Uh, did I bring any other salt and pepper shakers? Because my clear salt and pepper shaker looks like that. That's the anchor hawking one. And then I do have a pair. Oh, pop yourself up on the big screen, honey. We couldn't see. Oh. Or I couldn't. Chicky. Click, click, click. Kitchy. 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 Oh, kitchy. And vintage or both. So I have salt and pepper shakers that look like that. They're clear. Mm -hmm. But this one, I, this one I decorated. You know my little soul man. Mm. With the vintage doily. Chip, chip. And then the other salt and pepper I have is this one. This one's from Europe. 
They're kind of different. <laughs> okay, he's cute. Isn't he? There's there's no rubber stopper, but they're in excellent condition. And here's the little so, girl that matches. So I will... I get... Okay, so over here, where I live, I have a place called Blackbird. And they sell so many different things I can't even begin to list them. The important thing is they sell little, little, um, little corks, corks of all sizes, including tiny sizes, the ties you would use to replace a salt and pepper plug. So if you need some salt and pepper plug replacers, oh, let no. me know. Well, anybody think... out there, if anybody out there need little, tiny, little, little cork plugs, for their salt and pepper shakers, you let me know, and I can get you some at a very reasonable price. I think I pay fifty cents to a dollar for one. Kitchmas. I have to look up that word. Kitchen Christmas, Kitchmas. But is there a certain style that looks like that? I've never heard of that. Sounds for me, the words kitchen and Christmas mushed together means anything that's uh, oh. Christmas decorations for your kitchen. I see what you mean, Kraken. Okay. Gotcha. T Bay. <laughs> that's funny. I, I approve of your typo, Chrissy, whether it was meant to be there or not. Um I had some pepper shakers. And then I cleaned. And nothing is where it's supposed to be now. Ooh, I got this to sell too. Gotcha. Uh, if I can get a hold of those little uh, elf heads, I was going to make little elf sitters shelf sitters with the little elves gotcha yeah i was just i couldn't recognize the the style i've heard the term but i just never saw the i don't know the style if kitchmas came in neon colors i'd be all over that because i love neon colors <laughs> Oh, Christmas kitschy. Got it. So oh. I have, well, first I'll show this because, so Caroline was talking about the old ledger paper that I have for like doing, um, ah, journaling and stuff. Oh. I don't remember. Oh, the elf that wanted to be a dentist from from Rain where I read it from Ra Ra Ra. Rudolph. Thank you. I can't remember what is his name. That's my favorite claymation. Yes, I don't know. But that's my favorite claymation. <laughs> I've been trying to collect all those guys for years. So I have lots of these. These are the papers. That back before computers, people would keep accounting on. This is a thirteen. This is a thirteen column. Yeah, this is a thirteen column. Um, um. Ledger book, and I have some of these, and the paper in that design, and I have some like this where the paper looks like this. The Island of Misfit Toys. Heck yeah. Otherwise known as home. Um, and then I've taken some of them. Also like this is, this is a whole section. So I have pages like this that would go into a binder. Hermy. You are correct. So I have these. Then I have some of them because I know that we don't all journal in 
giant books. And of course, they can all be cut down and stuff. But I have some that I have already cut to a smaller size so that, see how these cut. These ones have not been cut yet. I have these. And then I have some that I have cut down Uh, sorry, that goes to a different thing, and I think I'm actually going to be using it. I have some that I've cut down to a much more manageable size. Hello, Norma. Welcome to the, to the fun. We're just kind of going through stuff and having fun. So this is some other of the paper I've already cut. Now... What I've done with some pages, they are not, yep, I went, I stopped at a free pile and I was going for the filing cabinet because I needed a filing cabinet and come to find out the gal's mother had been an accountant and she had saved the heavy books that you put all of these ledger papers into replacement. I have boxes of replacement ledger paper boxes. And so I have tons of it for, um, and I kept it all for journaling and scrapbooking and all that. So I also have delusions and Tim Holtz sprays. What? You have Tim Holtz? You holding out on me. What? You have Tim Holtz. You holding out on me. Yes, I have some of the Tim Holtz sprays. And so these are all water soluble sprays. So if I took my little mister and I sprayed it on here, it would make this move a little bit and it would look different. You can still add stamps to the top of this. I was I was wondering if people were looking for this stuff. I mean, I'll sell, I'll sell a junk journal a lot of just the papers, you know, and so I've sprayed papers. Um, and some of these have, I don't know if you can see it or not, but like this one, this has, these also have metallic sprays on top of them. So this has like silver on top of it. And these are all, and they, they just got this, this, I can't get it to focus and get the, at the glow but there's also there there's a little bit of metallic shine so if anyone's interested in some of this or if you've got a color design you'd rather have these are purples and blues i think i had some pinks in there at one point but i have some colors i don't have as many as i would love to have yeah some of these are the magenta and the pinks these are more pink a little more pinky purple. Um, but yeah, I would sell this stuff. That's why I have all of this. These these are designed or in this pack, which is extremely heavy. I set up for me to start doing colors. So I can start coloring pages and I can start altering the way they look. And then, yes, sell them as junk journal lots. Um, I just have a very difficult time making decisions about how to, uh, what colors to go with, what pages to do. And then my biggest problem is what to put in the lot. I mean, I have so much, um, right down to... Hold on one second. Because then I can also include in the lot, if it was kind of like on one color. I have little ones in here I already made up, but I do with them. 
there. See, if I wanted to be color coordinated, then I can also send a lot of miscellaneous fabrics and, and not a ribbon. <sighs> Trim. So I've got Look, packets at Wendy sends are so good. There's Trim. so many useful things in them. These are all vintage fabric pieces in here. And what, what I've done is I rescued a whole bunch of fabrics from my family. I washed them up. Yes, Rick Rack. It, it's like Rick Rack. I had an entire, I had an entire um, spool and it's got flowers. They're flowers and I can't get it to focus. Don't focus on me. Focus on the flowers. There you go. Ooh, those oh, are yeah. Great. Flowers, rickrack, ribbons. Oh, Wendy, do you have Halloween, autumn, and Christmas? I know you have. Okay. Oh, yeah. She has a lot of that. So, I am working on pulling out what I have, which is just a variety of stuff and yes i do have i do have one piece of christmas fabric out i know right now it's in the garage it's like a plaid with um deer on it um and i'm trying to make i was trying to make little bundles like this yes i don't know i i okay yes i would like to sell these i am very unsure as to how i should or how I should price. So I really haven't done anything other than ha, uh, because I was going to take like a baggie like this plus paper plus something else and make a lot out of it. And I'm wondering if that's too much and I should just stick to, hey, here's a little baggie full of goodies. And I don't know, is is five dollars too much for this little bag of of fabric goodies oh no that's a great deal so you get a little bit of this you get a little right a little bit of some sort of i have tons of this flower stuff so you'd probably get a piece of the flower and you'd get like this brown down here that's a brown lace uh and then um the, the fabrics and I did try and keep things in the same kind of color scheme ish blues, browns, darker colors with a bit of light. If someone's, yeah, I'll, I'll sell, I'll, I'll sell this, I'll sell the paper that I've already colored. I will take an order together if you have. I'll tell you what colors I'll pull my, <laughs> I love my new rack. I can walk right over there and pull all the colors that I have for sprays and I can put a combo together for you. So all three put together and you'll take a lot for five. All three put together. So are you doing the paper that baggy and something else? Um, I don't know what the something else would be. Well, it's Chrissy. So I would yeah, just that's do a what I was. That's what I was thinking about was something like that, Chrissy. Yeah, um, do the paper right and in. do the paper that and like some cards because she was looking for cards. She's got cards. I got her. The Chrissy, you have the last of the vintage cards that came from my grandmother's place. Yeah, she can have uh, fabric for early birth. Oh, yes, I can have fabric on Sunday. I can make a phone call and I can get more. My friend, my only friend in town has more fabric than I do and has decided to clear out her shed. Because a Mine lot of the... Go ahead, yeah. Wendy. Oh, I, she's just... Yeah, she's cleaning this out and and so putting that together would be easy. And I want to write down what you said you wanted, Kraken, so that oh, I, I need to sure i focus because i know she's gonna just bring out a whole bunch of stuff when it comes because a lot of the fabric i get and stuff that i make with my dolls and my crafting goods are from wendy so the if you guys oh, have my videos i have a lot of different 
materials from her. If, if I thought I could flip my streaming over to my phone, maybe Sunday I'll stream out of the garage off my phone instead of off the computer. And that, hell, I'll take the computer out there too. <laughs> and you guys can just pick from whatever fabric I've got in the garage. And Wendy had yards of it too. So I'm not ready to part with this piece yet. I've got to cut it down. But I will show you an example of the first thing that I got fabric-wise of a lar of a, a piece with any length to it. Uh, I'll show you what I got. She pulled out of her bra, out of her shed, some boxes. And her other half and I went through the boxes. Or her, she and I went through the boxes. Her other half brought them down for us. Where'd it go? 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 This is my life. And I don't like this. I'd like it to be smaller. I actually want a living room that you can live in. Are you looking for the cat one? No. Wow. I'm looking for the hot pink stuff. Oh, oh. Uh, that was in a Ziploc baggie, wasn't it? I didn't think so. It was too big for a baggie. I had just set it folded nicely. See what happens when you fold something nicely and set it down? Is it the one you showed me? Yeah. If it's the one oh, you right showed me. It's right here in front of me. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? I go looking everywhere for something that's right in front of me. So I'm going to cut it down into smaller pieces. Or some. At least take some piece off. This is three yards of the softest vintage hot pink micro suede that you will ever find. It is so luscious. And you can see there the uh, one side from the other side. It's very thin. I think, it Wendy, they're looking more for a pattern, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's going to come. I have it. She has it. I This was just the first piece that came out. Just want a junk drawer lot on eBay. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. That's awesome. Your I used to limit eBay a lot. I got some great jewelry charms off of eBay. About 10 years ago, they used to be really reasonable. They're not anymore. <laughs> they realized what they got and the price has gone up. But yeah, if you if you would like something like this, I have an entire... So the fabric came to me dirty and smelly. And I sent all of it, no matter what its size was, through my washing machine. Hey, Miss Pat. Hey, Pat. So I sent it all through the, oh, if it was orange, you'd be all over it. I will keep that in mind, Kraken. I think I have some orange fabric for you somewhere. I vaguely remember seeing it. My brain is shooting on strange neurons. And um, so I took all that fabric and a lot of it was scrap and I washed it. And then I trimmed up a lot of the super long strings you know that caused problems made sure as much of it as i could didn't have any runs you know where a thread gets pulled all the way through uh and so and then i i ironed it <laughs> i i never believed i was ocd but there are some things 
like fabric scraps. All of these fabric scraps were ironed before they were put in. They were stacked. They were matched with their color uh, variety. And then like even, even the ginghams, there's two ginghams in here. I had entirely separate piles for the ginghams. And I had, <laughs> I have a suitcase full of this folded, small, ironed, clean, vintage material waiting to be packed up into little packages like this and mailed off to you guys as you desire. So if you like the little packet with the fabric in it, there's another piece of vintage fabric in there. And the little bits of, so you get a little bit of, you get a little bit of lace. You get some trims and some other lace. So these, you think $5 for one of these is reasonable? Yeah. Okay, so. Because Chrissy already wants one. <laughs> okay. Well, Chrissy had mentioned that and then something and then some paper to go with it. And I think yeah. what I'll do is maybe I'll sell these and then I'll do a little paper with them or something. And it'll be $5 for this and, and some paper. The paper, I think if I do that, I would like to keep the same size as this. I don't want to make super large papers. So I think those are called like four by fours or three by threes, but I'll make a nice square of paper that goes in with these. If we want to do larger paper, then we'll do a larger and we'll figure it out. I'm all about winging it. I am the queen of winging it. Lots of W's in my life. Okay, and Chrissy was talking about wanting one of these. I know she said she'd also spend her wads. I also know that I'm holding box, so kind of holding box or something. I don't know. But I've got another one in here, I know. So, so what, like, what do you want to call those, uh, the little Ziploc baggies? Fabric grab bag. Okay. It's fine if you have old newspaper or magazines too. Okay. I have an old book that I need to break down and I think you're going to like it. I just have to make sure that the paper is not so far gone that it won't fall apart. And what I may have to do is do those differently. But yeah, I've got some other, okay, I've got other bits to here. go in. I've got that. So here's like, here's an example of some more fabric. This isn't a big bag, something for me to choose from. So all sorts of different colors of gingham. I can put cracking together a bag of orange colors. So then here's another bag and it's full of like the extra brick rack. Um, Danielle, There's you're looking for coffee and tea stain paper? Oh, not a problem. Yeah, that's. That's no problem. I can make it. coffee and tea paper. I drink yeah, coffee and tea fun. like they're nothing. I've Just made tea tea and paper and coffee. I love making coffee paper. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting you a lot, Caroline. Huh? No, no, that's okay. okay. My mouth is running faster than I can keep up. So she said that she can make bigger ones that are uh, a bigger ziplock bag with fall colors maybe you teased down your own paper comes out great i yeah so do, yeah danielle just if you don't have tea i i'm sending you tea bags in your in your thing i'll i always send tea in my packages and i'll send you a couple extra bags so you can tea stain your own paper if you'd like personally when i tea stain my paper I like to make sure my tea is either Wendy. steeped very well so Wendy. that I get a dark color. Yes. Please. You need to sell. I know what you should sell. You need to sell ephemera paper packs with tea. With tea bags, yeah. Yes. Here's another pouch. I Here's another one I had. This would probably be one that, um, that um, Kraken might like. This one Kraken might like. I've got some peach and some brown. 
and white on the lace. And then there's this really light orange gingham in the back. Oh, yeah. I do. That peach one that Wendy has is really pretty because, let me see if I can pull it out. I could, if I got some more peach on me, I'll send it to you, sweetie. But so you've got, um, you've got a little flower set up here. Yeah. Oh. So with the peach a ribbon that Wendy has, you can make, I made a pillow. That's what it looks like. This a little more fabric. Green gingham, a couple of other mixes in there. You just never know what you're gonna find. You just go digging, and I, heck, sometimes I dig through them and forgot I've stuck so many pieces. Like, oh, there's another little piece of fabric in there. So yeah, um, Christy mentioned wanting one. I didn't know. Oh yeah, we're just we'll figure it out. Did you have colors, Chrissy, that you wanted? I know Kraken's looking for the oranges and yeah, the autumn. Yeah, like orange, fall, Christmas. Yeah. Right. And yeah, just kind of let me know, Chrissy, and... I'll find you colors too, because I, I know you were looking at. Yeah. Stuck brain again. What else has been here? I had these all set up at one point in the garage. Um. I don't have one right here to show. Oh, well, yes, I do. I have one other thing that I was working on. I was trying to put these kits together. And I was working on the fabric part first. So I was making those little fabric pouches. And then I was um, trying to get little paper to go with the pouch. So he's excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the other things I've done is I've taken my old wooden spools. Come on. I know you're in here because I didn't get rid of you. <laughs> taken... <laughs> I love deheading Barbies. What? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Um, multiple reasons. First of all, you have to take the head off to take the hair out. Oh, you're making that. And once I get the hair out, I can make different faces on them and I put them on different bodies. Like I tend to buy headless and legless toys. But then what do you do with the hair? Well, the hair is just plastic. No. Yeah, but Wendy, there's a way you could fix that so it's it's smooth and pretty again. I don't I don't know. I'm not usually into whatever their hair was. I'm more about what I can do with the head. Well, if you ever but, find a dolly with blue hair, let me know. You need dolls with blue hair. Uh -huh. Okay. So Caroline needs blue hair dolls. Oh, you don't have to write it down. I'll keep reminding you. I don't write stuff down. I don't remember it. Pat, Pat got me addicted to dolls. So now I'm always looking for uh, doll stuff. I, I I understand. I go to, I go to the Goodwill bins and I buy a lot of toys. It's scary. Now, where's that thing at? Because I know that I oh, didn't take it out of here. I wish I, I could go to one. Such a good thing. So I'm taking older wood. I'm taking old wooden spools that I have, the old wooden thread spools, and I'm winding them up, and I'm putting new 
vintage threads on them. I thought so, you had a, a bunch of uh, wood spools. I do. I have bunches of wooden spools. So I take, so what I have been doing, because I have so many, is I will take a spool and then I will take. Oh, I didn't even know Barbie had blue hair. Really? I know. I, I I'm, wait, I'm waiting for your sale, Pat. <laughs> I know you have a sale coming up. I can't afford anything right now, but that's just one of the things I want to try to do. Then I take different colors of these very thin oh. colored and different types of threads. Some are cotton, some are not, some have glit glitter, some don't. But I take those and I wind them around my around the spools and I put like two, three, sometimes four or five different colors around that little spool. And then I include that in the bags I originally were making. I wanted to include the spool of thread, the uh, baggie of trim and fabric, small pieces of fabric, and then some paper. Those were the original junk journal mystery boxes I was trying to, attempting to make. And it just became too much. So I think I want to sell all of those things just as individual things. You can get the baggie of fabric, you can get the baggie of paper, and you can get a spool of thread. Have a great day, Kraken. Thank you so much for coming. And hey, Wendy, what is, she, what does buying space mean by this? Are you buying from Creepy Kid from the Buzz Lightyear movie? I know there's a... <laughs> Uh, I don't... No, no, I am not pulling Creepy Kid from Buzz Lightyear movie. I am doing some. Uh, I I've been doing I've been doing something called kit bashing. Oh, and you can look it up online. People use things like Milliput, um, epoxy sculpt, which. They are um, sculpting plays, which will harden permanently. And they make new dolls and new toys out of the old broken ones. And yes, it is kind of like the crazy brother from Buzz Lightyear, but it doesn't have to be crazy. Well, it doesn't have to be quite so violent. <laughs> you do get a lot of uh, dinosaurs and a lot of monsters. Uh, a lot of these people, a lot of them use the idea for the monsters and stuff in um, in gameplay. Uh, Sid was his name. You are correct, Sid. Ugh. So, yeah, um, that's kind of my idea. There at one point, is I don't know if they're still doing it, and I can't remember the name of it, but there's this game that some YouTubers play, some creators who uh, are on YouTube and I actually have the cards around here somewhere. I actually brought them in the living room and I was wondering why I even did that. And I can't remember which box they're in, but people uh, put different, um, people draw flashcards. So you draw 20 different flashcards and they can be a weapon or whatever you want them to be. And, and just parts, of like you draw a hand or you draw uh, a dinosaur foot or whatever makes you happy. Have a good day, Chrissy. And then you would all get together, cut the cards out. So each one of you designed say 10 or 20 cards that gives you a large selection. So then your three or four friends or how many ever you, you, there are of you get together you take those cards, you mix them all together and make a deck out of them. And then you draw five or five or how many ever cards you want. And you design a creature that looks like whatever the cards you got were. So it, it's a fun thing. A, a lot of people enjoy doing it. it. It's one reason that I tear apart dolls and animals. I have... I have, I have a dinosaur head sitting on the top of my couch right back here. So, you never know what you're going to get.
what you're going to find. So yeah, any one of those. Oh, shoot. Can you do me a favor? What do I need? I need you to turn Pat blue. Oh, but of course. How did I miss that? Because that's why I couldn't drop her link. Because I'm chatting too much. you got to make me do business. A lot of people have been doing that. There you go. Yeah, I'll probably won't be it, your show tomorrow, Pat. I'll probably watch it like towards the middle. I'll try to get in as soon as I can. <laughs> no, the, real, the only reason why I was looking for doll heads is because I was making dolls. Here. I'm, I'm trying to play and experiment with dolls. So I, I'm looking for different doll heads. There's salt and pepper shakers. I know I have more, but I just can't remember where they are. Aren't they fun? And I just think the blue doll heads are, because I love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. In the middle, right? Oh. They're cute. Well, and then the one you made for Wendy, I thought that was really cute, too. Oh, I love her. I just absolutely love her. Believe it or not, other than a maquette, a little itty-bitty drawing person type thing, it's the only doll in there. Yes, I do. They're right here. How about four dollars? Does that sound reasonable? You gonna start her a box? Oh yeah. All right. I've got a little pile starting for you right over here. Keep it close to the envelope so I remember to get envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank Excellent. Thank you. Sorry, I have a. I have a cushion that sits in the bottom of my chair and it doesn't like to stay there. So you see me fussing with the chair. That's that. Right. Thank you so much. Birds. Yay. I should go get my, let me go get a different box. I might have some other goodies. Ooh, okay. I've got clear flower frogs. Oh yeah, she does. See, so some of the stuff that Wendy sent me, like this is the lace that I use in some of my vintage stuff. This is a little heart pillow. It's nice. So that's an idea. I did have ornaments I made too from the lace that Wendy sent me that I've made. I made like vintage spool. Vintage spools with lace let's see. let's see if i can find one to show you guys mm. when you know you have too much stuff Oh, I have too much. 
Oh, bye, Pat. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a fun little ornament. That I made. So there's a spool that I made with some vintage buttons and then some fun little lace and ribbon. So that's what you can make with Wendy is a uh, scrap. Her little scrappy bay or her little material. Just fun things like that. Oh, I don't blame you. I would too. It's too hot to cook. I have this little vintage nutcracker ornament. Well, no, it's not an ornament. It's actually a nutcracker magnet. It is. It's like blow mold material. It's kind of hard plastic. And I can't read how old it is. J-S-N-Y. J-S-N-Y made in China. A little nutcracker. I think I have a different one, too. And that one, I have this ornament. It's a wood hand carved, paint, hand painted tree. I think it's made in, made in the Philippines. A fun little vintage piece. I have these little stockings. You know, <laughs> Danielle, the other day I was looking at one of my little ornaments and I was going to send you one as a joke. <laughs> ah. Wow. But I didn't know how he would take it if I sent you one as a joke. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you find it, Wendy? Uh, no, I didn't find any more salt and pepper shakers. Oh. I didn't find the Christmas fabric. I did find the flower frogs. Did you find anything at all? No, not up there. Um, everything else is going to be probably up the stairs. And that's a section that's going to take me just a bit more digging. So that stuff I'll have to bring on Sunday. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's stuff I'll have to bring on Sunday. I have a, I have a Christmas ornament. I have a Ray Dunn Christmas ornament that says love. Love, love, love. <laughs> right, Daniel? So. Oh, I know that feeling, Miss Pat. I don't feel like cooking either. That just means, you know, that, oh, ooh, it's 1130. It's time for some AG1. They would just get it to send it back because I need it reset. I almost drank all my goodies. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did you ever get your stuff? It hasn't come in the mail yet, so I'm, uh, I'm going off of the... Um, tracking they they sent me at the same time they sent me five packs of five try of uh, five um to go packs to go packs and i gave one away 
or two away. No, I used one and I gave one to my doctor because before I started AG1, I asked my doctor and she said that it looked really good. And so when I went and saw her the last time, I brought her one in case she wanted to try. So I will be right back. I have to mix up my morning drink. Okay. Let's see. What else do you guys want us to show you? Hmm. What else can I show you? I have... I have my beaded pens. Oh, I have these little fun pens. They're little toys, but they're pens. Oh, I guess I should make myself bigger. <laughs> have these pens the little felt tip pens they remind me of Voltron or He-Man <laughs> <laughs> have that one wait these are what are these are these ink pens they're you know the felt tip pens oh I haven't seen them with, I have, I'm sorry, I haven't seen them. Oh. No, you didn't miss any salt and pepper shakers sets. I, I have more. I will have to bring them on Sunday. I will go upstairs and I will hunt for them. And I don't think I have any, I don't think I ever really click. I don't think I really have any. I had picked up uh, some Christmas ones and I ended up getting, and I don't know how, but three out of four. Um, and they're really cute. And I was 99% sure they were somewhere on my couch. My percentages are way off because Evidently, it's not there. Did you show them in the last show? No, I haven't showed them at all. Oh. That's how come I was like, ouch, ouch. So tomorrow's Tuesday. With any with any luck, they will deliver my, my new, um, my new, ah. Uh, any luck they'll deliver the next set of drink on my next um my refill my refill hopefully they will get that to me tomorrow all the good stuff out of the package wendy i don't know what else i have to show mm. I have those buttons I guess I could show. I haven't nobody's seen the buttons that I that I have yet. Oh yeah, the ceramic ones. Yeah. Show my buttons. Sorry, I gotta get my drink mixed up real quick. And I'll show my buttons. Okay, buttons. So these are all handmade, fired in a kiln, and glazed buttons. So <clears throat> these ones are described as melted glass. Oh, I ship from Oregon. If you're ever in Southern Oregon, please do not hesitate to give me a call and say, hey, I got to come check out your crazy. Because I like showing off my crazy. And you never know what I've got tucked away that I want to get rid of that you might be interested in that I just never would have thought of showing. Happens a lot to me. So these are 
and you can see here on the the there we go how they've made and designed the hoop there and secured it firmly <gasps> she signed them really yes oh. there's a signature underneath there there's a there's a little thing oh wait hold on is that her signature thing yes that's her signature it says s p a y i u m maybe or u i n i'm not positive but she's signed it you're in florida <gasps> Oh, Florida. Jimmy. Florida. My other half came from Florida. His family's in Florida. I love Florida. So these buttons are clay that have been glazed. And then this is blue glass. And this is brown glass. And this is green glass. It's all been used in the center and melted for decoration on these. These are all handmade. None of them are alike. I went to visit Florida once in March for my birthday. March is the perfect month to go visit Florida. The bugs are low, the weather is mild. But you get one month, as soon as March is over, the weather starts turning. There's bugs in Florida? Yeah, there's bugs in Florida. <laughs> so you're really, okay, so he, this is the phrase I've always uh, this is the phrase I've always known about Florida. Everything in Florida is trying to kill you. Oh. <laughs> the grass will cut you. The bugs are huge. They have alligators. Yeah. So pretty much the phrase I learned is everything in Florida is trying to kill you. So you always have to keep an eye out. <laughs> and I loved it. The, um, the description on the back of these are peach and then it says golden era. Yes, mosquitoes the size of birds. That's oh, right. Yeah. And spiders just as big to catch them. Well, that's a little further south in the Amazon, but still. So these are actually peach pits. They're shaped like peach pits. Looks just like a peach pit. And the glaze she used was Golden Era. Uh, I think it's absolutely amazing. They look just like peach pits. And I'm asking... Um, Six dollars a card, and unless it's got like two on it, and I don't think I have any twoers. Some have four, some have three, but between the size and everything, I think six six dollars. <gasps> oh, Fort Myers! I yeah, love. I, like that. I got to visit St. Augustine when I was there. Oh yeah, that's fun. Awesome! It's so amazing. The one thing I, when I pulled my, when I brought my other half up here from Florida, the one thing I wanted to take him to the coast badly and he didn't really understand why his thought was I'm from Florida. You've seen one beach, you've seen them all. And then I brought him to Oregon where we have rocky beaches and yeah. we have monstrous, mad, this monstrously huge uh, uh, rocks sticking straight out of the ocean beautiful yes the lizards are taking over are those the ones that like fall out of the tree when it gets too cold because <laughs> I, I heard they <laughs> fall out of the tree They're iguanas a lot of them are iguanas my other half's daughters had iguanas they raised i'm i'm not they're lizards i love the birds out there though the birds are beautiful beautiful birds birds down there that you don't get up here mm -hmm. that's for sure <clears throat> these <coughs> excuse me i have a tickle in my throat for my drink okay better um 
These ones are slightly larger. They are a lighter brown, and I'm not sure what she um, was using for an Im to make an impression for a design on them. Um, does she have these labeled? These ones are not labeled. Come on, focus in. Oh, in Miami. That makes sense. There we go. So those have an interesting design on them. Oh, excuse me. My eye was uh, teared. My eye teared from the tickle in my throat. These are um, an interesting one. These don't have, these have a matte on them. They don't have the shiny gloss glaze. And now my camera's going to be picky. Come on. You know you want to. There they go. And there's six of them on this card. And they're still made out of clay. Fired in a kiln. The whole nine yards. Uh, let's see. There's a set of five of these ones. I'm trying to see if she has her name. She even has a name on the back of these tiny ones. Wow, did she get something on the back of here? She probably has a letter or something on the back to help. Yeah. Yeah, she finds them. I'm so pleased. Oh, it was so much fun. The rip the antique stores in there oh i spent so much money it was amazing <laughs> okay the goodwill in florida where we were blew my mind um, the family lived in um melrose so we'd go to like the two smaller towns around it that, that are better actually town towns anyway we went to a goodwill their goodwill prices down there blow my mind. I understand they have to pay taxes on the stuff they buy. But still, I walked out of there. I walked out of there with a hard case, green Dockers suitcase on wheels with a handle, two zipper sections, nothing broken, nothing wrong, $3. I can't buy a suitcase in my area for $3. It blew my mind. So I really loved the area. I, yeah, Danielle, I was very um, surprised at the uniqueness to all of these. All of these buttons. These ones are blue. They have like a little ridge in the middle. Kind of like, like, kind of like a pretend spot where you would, where threads would have run through. Just a little slightly raised spot. And there's five on this card. They're amazing. This a nice glaze. They're brown. And white. These ones are also $6. They are lions. These are supposed to be lion heads. Okay, so they don't look exactly like a lion head when you're looking directly at them head on. They don't look as liony. But if you turn them to the profile, they definitely start to look a lot more raised and, and have more of the lion look to them. And then um, these ones are going to be $5 each because they're smaller. Like they only have two. So you get two of the big ones for $5 with the um, 
see if I can get this to work. So it's opposite of the brown ones that you saw, kind of. It's white with that stripe in it. And these are larger. There's only three on this. You get two of the brown stripe, white and brown, and then one brown. So that one will be $5. This one has two. It's almost a, a pe -pe 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 -per periwinkle color. Not quite blue, not quite purple. Periwinkle. Um, all of these are new. They are handmade by a current by a local artist, to my knowledge. And then there's only two on this one. They're brown with little swirlies, little blue swirlies. Almost look like they have like um, um, fossils in them. So yeah, um, yeah, no, I they're not for that. I, I can't say that. They're just, or from them. They're from then. They're definitely modern and current. Um, and I believe from a local artist. Oh, I didn't show the last pair, did I? Did I show the baby? I didn't show the baby. So the last pair, which is also a $6 set, Or the last set of four, which is also that these are baby heads, baby doll heads. So a set of four with the baby doll heads is six dollars. So yeah, my camera. There we go. So yeah, I've just got all sorts of crazy stuff. I have. These are actually glass, and I think these are vintage. I know not all of these are vintage anymore, but because if I had them stored any other way than like this, I would think that they were newer. But because I have them in a tub, it means that I got them out of something else, which means that there's a, there's a much higher chance of them actually being the older versions, the vintage stuff. In the S, I know what the SAC is. As long as it's not technology, yeah. So these were fired in a modern kiln which if you're going to get SCA exact, um, they probably should have been fired in, um, in a done either Raku or done um, in a ground pit, which I know places around me here that do that special type of firing, ground pit firing. Um, as long as it's still a button, uh, I think you're thinking about the lion head ones, either the lion head or the peach pits, because I could see peach pits being buttons. And then um, the lion head uh, is definitely an image that was around then. Um, most of their buttons, of course, as you know, are probably wood and antler. Um, I do find antler buttons a lot. I can also, I'm putting my, I'm putting my foot in my mouth by saying that I can make them, but I do know the general process and I do have most of the tools, just the space and the time to be able to do it is, is not conducive to me. I figured, yeah, these would look really nice. Um, I don't know if these would work for cloak buttons, but I could see like one on each side of a cloak with your with your 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 loop to tie it together to hold it together. So yeah, I I, I totally yeah I know where you're I know where you're coming from. I didn't actually go to any events, but uh, I was married to someone who was in the SCA and he did been, did events 
before we got together. He was also a leather worker and would create leather items for people going to SCA events. So yeah. Well, she's looking for buttons from the 15th century. She's looking for things that clothing and and uh, items that revolve or were more geared towards 15th century life. Uh, the SCA is the Society for Creative and No, I got it wrong. It's society. I want to say it's Society for Creative Anachronisms, but that's not correct. <laughs> My A word is way off. Buying space is going to have to help me out with that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's all, it's, it's Ren Fairs. It's like a Ren Fair, but it, it doesn't have all the, what do you call it? Um, it doesn't have all the, um, advertising promotionalism of the people who set up booths and who've made some sort of jewelry. Sometimes they do have booth setups, but their stuff is the things they sell and create are made in a specific way and, and kind of for a specific setting, historical setting, historical setting. Exactly. It doesn't have all the drunks. You don't have, yeah, it's, it's not like, not like, oh well, yeah, it's, it's, people who are more seriously geared toward re, reenactments and re, um, and just living and dressing in that historical period. Gotcha. I love it. I think it's great. I'm not, I, I haven't really ever been involved, but I, I do get it. And that I think makes a big difference. So, anyway, it doesn't have all the drugs. I love that comment. I really, really do. So, what else have you got going, Caroline? Oh, I just sold something on Whatnot and I don't know where I put it. <laughs> Congratulations. I you sold know. something on whatnot. Wait, wait, wait. Do you, don't you have to have a an auction to sell on whatnot? Or can you just take pictures and post? You can take pictures and post too. So I'm I sell on all different platforms and whatnot is one of the things I sell on. And it's just like Macari, just like eBay. You can take pictures and post stuff to sell on there. I didn't know. It's something that they're rolling out. They're very innovative and they've done like a lot of different things. So, and I try to keep myself well-rounded to learn other platforms and stuff like that. So it's really fun. I like it. I might have to give it a whirl. That only is after I can become, after only after I can keep sustainable amount of items posted on Macari. I don't think I want to cross post because that would be confusing to me. Yeah, because if you cross post, you always have to um, make sure you know where you uh, you have to take it off. You know what other sites you posted on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I feel better. What do you uh what are you gonna bring Thursday, Wendy? Um I I want of course bring a little more Christmas. I'm gonna keep bringing uh Christmas. If I have any Halloween, I will bring it. It is just a lot of Halloween stuff I find I keep. But 
I also haven't been finding any good Halloween stuff recently. It just, maybe I'm not getting out there fast enough to get it. Hopefully I'll have some Halloween fabric. And some other goodies. I'll have to go dig in boxes to, well, yeah, shopping. I think I'm going to bring some cigar boxes to sell. Cigar boxes, really? Yeah, I have some, I have a couple left that are like solid wood ones. Oh, okay. Ones that are smaller, ones that are bigger. I, I don't need them. I mean, I could craft with them, but. So they're, so they're, they're like lightweight wooden boxes the cigars came in, not like humidors that you would use to store your cigars. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't think I would ever sell that on here. But yeah, like, if I had a humidor, I would never, I like wouldn't. This. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. This one's a lightweight one. The only ones I've ever had or seen are the cardboard ones. So, well, they're a thicker cardboard, but still. No, I think Margie got all my cardboard ones or my bigger ones. The ones I have left are like solid wood. That's awesome. Sorry, everyone. I like the goodies in my drink. What can I say? I keep trying to. I'm like, oh, look, there's a little, there's a little more. <laughs> All right. Put that out of my way. So yeah. Um I'll have to make some more papers in some different colors. Yeah, you should. I mean, you should sell them as uh bundles. I I wanted to. I wanted to sell some plain and and to, personally I'm my big one of the other I was having with this batch that I've already cut because I had I pre-cut these and then I um and then I painted them. Yeah. But see, I don't I wouldn't be storing cigars in it. I would be storing other other things that need to be hum, hum, humidified at a consistent rate. Finding words can be rough. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't sure um, if this size was good for the paper or if I should go smaller. So, and I think for me, I'm going to find an envelope size that I like and everything will be cut for the envelope size. I think I like that idea. That are the size of um, golden books, Wendy. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is just about the size of a golden book. Mm -hmm. Maybe a smidge bigger. These are... One thing about having everything scattered everywhere is... Once you've been scattered in the right places enough times, you will always find what you need. <laughs> the second I clean, I can't find anything. So these are seven and a quarter inches across. And they are eight and a half inches long. So yeah, these are right about the size of a golden book just a little bit thicker that way you have room to stamp and do your thing and if you want to cut out you can but see these are still these are still um i have not like sealed the paper so it can still be water. Uh, uh, so if you drip some water on it, like I just made a couple of drops and they're going to make little puddles of their own and, and, um, and move the ink a little bit 
So you'll get another kind of like these drops around here. That's what this and this will turn into. We'll turn into these little drops. Unless I move it around and then I can make it run. See how that one's running? And it will leave that cool little run spot when it dries. So yeah. Um, you'd be able to take a mister and be able to mist it around if you wanted. Or you'd be able to just put your stamp, the image you wanted stamped on there. And you could uh, cut it out and then place it on the paper. Um, yeah, they're just so much fun to work with. I, I enjoy them immensely. Um, most of my colors right now are pinks, purples, and blues. I want to expand my, um, my color palette. And so these are, uh, one brand is put out by Ranger. They're called Dilusions. And they're a, they come in a little spray bottle. And they also have metallic sprays. And Tim Holtz puts out these same type of sprays with a different name. And um, actually, he has two different ones. He has regulars and oxides. And um, yeah, that's the more the more sprays I have, the more colors I can make. So I try and buy those on occasion. Um, I have a couple of flower frogs, clear flower frogs, if anyone's interested. I noticed how nicely I have a um. I have a Frankoma pot, Frankonoma, Frankoma pottery brand. And it's one that has this interesting shape. Oh, thank you, Yippee. Don't worry. Everybody has to go away on occasion. So this will sit inside like if you have, it's got like a footed bottom. And then it kind of comes up and it does this in a bowl shape. And sometimes there's a little like spot where the foot goes dip. The transition between the actual bowl of the piece and the foot of the piece. And you can set a flower frog down in there. And that will keep things separated. And then you can also, so you can like have your flowers come out of that too. It's, um, they work in all sorts of different types of, of, of um, containers. Because I use multiple containers to hold my flowers and plants. This could be interesting for rooting a plant as well. It would be really nice if you had a, a plant that had multiple short-ish roots going on. And you could set this somewhere along here, lean it against an edge, and still have your roots getting down the way they need to without having the plant float too bad, badly. Fun and new uses for everything we find. All right. I'm going to have to make myself a Christmas assemblage. I'm going to have to use these little lights. Oh, look what I found. What did you find? I, I love it when we find stuff. I don't even know what. Dang it, I wish I had a magnet. I don't even know what this is. It's sealed, though. That means it's new, right? Yeah, but it's vintage. Ooh. Ooh. The pendant. That is huge. Yeah, I know, right? That's awesome. I like that. No, make you bigger, not me. There you go. That's excellent. It's. I think it's like a... I want to say it's like the Indian silver, but there's a bale. Anyone it interested? does. It looks like... And, and the reason it looks like the Indian silver is the dots. Here, I'll show you mine. Hold yeah. On. 
It's a fun little necklace oh, pendant piece. Hmm. Okay. This is why I say it looks like the Indian silver with the dots. Oh, that's pretty, Wendy. Twisty braid. The little tiny intricates. And then on the other side, it has that. Oh, that's a... Uh, I can't read that, lang that letter. It's, it's the a, ohm sign. That's it. It's the ohm sign. And it has lots of other letters around it. At, at one, I actually did look this up. There's a scan you can do, and it, it told me what it meant, but I cannot remember at the moment. If I'm not mistaken, one is an outward blessing and one is an inward blessing. Are you selling and, that? No. Ha! <laughs> then why'd you show it? Do you tease? Because it looked like yours. <laughs> no. Um... My other half and I found this in Colorado when we spent a month in Colorado. And this is one of my favorite pieces. And I treat it as an inward and an outward blessing. And when when one side faces out, it's me and my joy for the outside world. And when it faces the other way, it's I am reclusive and I need me. And I'm just absorbing what's out there because... I need it. And yes, I totally believe the way that one is set up compared to the way this one is set up, that that is Indian silver. Because that's, uh, that's what that is. And then I put a silver chain on it with the little dot, the little, I love the silver chain I put on it. But yeah, this is, these are the things I collect up. You, silver jewelry, really hard for me to part with. Hmm. Um, I've sold a few. Uh, yes. I think we should end. Yes, it's been about three hours. hours. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe we've been on for three hours. Three hours just chit chatting, having fun, showing the stuff we got, trying to get a few things accomplished. Sounds like good. I got Chrissy stuff all set aside over here. And, um, Chrissy wanted something. Oh, yeah. She wanted some of the, the, the other paper. Oh, the paper and the goodies. Yes. The paper and the goodies. So if you guys get a chance, check out Wendy and I. We will be doing a live sale on Thursday. And then we'll also be doing one on Sunday. Sunday. The early bird <laughs> sale. Yep. The early bird sale. I, I, I'm then, excited about that. Uh, uh, um, and then on Friday, don't forget, you can come by to the crafting on a budget with Kraken. Crafting on a budget with Kraken. Yeah, we'll be crafting together and all the materials that you need will be, all the materials that you need is on the bottom of the Kraken's video. So if you go to Kraken's channel, click on her video, crafting on a budget. Under the description of the video, you'll see all the items that you need to craft with us. And then this is, let me see if I can show this real quick. This is the logo that you want to look for if you're ever looking for Wendy and I to sell on Thursday. This is the logo. So Wendy and I sell on Thursdays at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, 10 o'clock her time. <laughs> yes. No. Eight, yes. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock my time. 10 o'clock your time. time. Noon my time. <laughs> Which is central. <laughs> um, that early bird sale catches me at 5 a.m. So any of you West Coasters out there, not 5 a.m. I'm silly. 8 a.m. Uh, just because I get up at 5 doesn't mean the rest of the world does. That's right. But at 8 a.m. for the West Coasters, I love it. She does such great things. Oh, thanks, Danielle. It's fun. 
I, I'm learning. I'm trying. I'm not as good as Kraken, but I'm learning. <laughs> oh, thank, well, there's always a learning ter- curve. Thank you guys all for coming here and spending uh your holiday with us, with Wendy yeah. and I. Uh, if you think we should do these pop-ups, let us know because this helps us out a lot. We greatly appreciate you guys a lot. So we hope you guys have a safe and wonderful week. And good luck to the new kiddos going off to school. Yeah. And we've got notes for the next sale and for uh, items to keep an eye out for. So mm-hmm. we will definitely make sure we uh, we will do our best. And keep in mind, don't be shy. Even if you don't buy anything, just watching us and leaving a comment in the video actually really greatly helps us too. So we appreciate those comments, those emojis. Even if you're just saying hi, we really appreciate those. And that helps us out tremendously. So uh, we really appreciate this. Go ahead, Wendy. This was was great today. I I loved doing this. We may have to do this more often i know <laughs> sounds fun the other half goes off to work school starts pretty my uh my child starts school on wednesday so um these parts these this lovely tea time of the soul part of the day is is uh working well in my opinion i hope your guys is too and here here i just found the link here's the link for crafting with us oh good on uh friday so it'll be live kraken and i will be on her channel you guys just have to grab a couple materials and anything you have around the house you just need some kind of adhesive some kind of material whether it's paper whether it's cray paper whether it's fabric whatever you have left over um the template work yep glue stick works all those leftover supplies from last year that you had to replace for the kids this year. Don't mm-hmm. let them go to waste. You can use them. Yeah. Or even use junk mail. Whatever you have around the house, bring those items and then craft with us live. I love it when when they send me yellow return envelopes. I think those are so pretty. That yellow orange color. Ah, Give me a return envelope any day. What do you do with them? Uh, sometimes I will do the little seal on a side and then I'll cut it in half so that I don't have the black of the other side. And I'll make a little slidey pouch that I can then glue into one of my junk journals. Oh. Or, or I can do it long ways and leave the envelope totally so it'll go sideways and I can slide things in that way in junk journals. Uh, sometimes I take them totally apart and I cut something uh, with my Sizzix out of out of that or I um or I use it as a background and then I have my wonderful tinters uh my um my ink my ink pads that I can then use a different tool with and I can tint the color of the yellow so I can make it look aged and antiqued or I can add another color to it and make it look more blue uh and yeah and just go to town um i don't have my 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 book i'm working on handy but i can always bring that and show it the next time who knows maybe one of these afternoons will be so dang organized we can craft with these people that's right and wendy has a Sizzix machine so she can cut out a lot of different shapes too if you guys are looking anything for I it. gotta anything I gotta um a die for and I've got some little dies that I could cut up some little birds and I can have some Christmas stuff so um we're gonna work on that as soon as there's a spot to bring it out all the paper has been organized the amount of organization that I have reached in the last three months has been extraordinary and is one of the only reasons I'm able to come back and start doing these sales again and get to the point where I can start crafting with you guys again, too. I'm so excited. All right. Thank you guys all for being here. Really appreciate you. Thumbs up if you can. That really helps us out. This is Wendy's channel. 
And if you're not subscribed to my channel, Young Star Girl, please subscribe to Young Star Girl. And it's just, and my Instagram is the same, Young Star Girl. Wendy's Instagram is also Wendy's Wacky Warehouse. Uh, I am on Macari. There is only one item there, and you can find me at W's Wacky Warehouse. Yes. All right. Thanks, Good guys, thank you, for being Danielle. here. Thank you for everything, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well, bye, guys. Bye.